Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodapps.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. Today we touch on creating and editing the table in Google Docs. Tables help organize data, put text and numbers in the order, and make them match each other. Basically, a grid with rows and columns, containing cells in them. Here we create one, filling it with data, editing its properties and customizing it. And we also review new features Google added to it by the end of 2021. On the document, it starts with us going to the Insert item on the toolbar on top and pressing it. In the menu, we drag the cursor to the second line, the table. And here on the popping up window with the grid, we set the number of columns, rows, and the number of cells in it at once. And I will do a 6x6 figure that I will use for tracking the working hours of the employees. For that, I drag the pointer over these cells until I see that it covers 6x6 square, which will also be displayed in the bottom of the window. And then I finally press on the last selected cell. There we go, just what I chose, 6 on 6, rows to columns with a total of 36 cells. To start filling it, I just click on the specific cell and start entering. And it is absolutely not different from how you regularly work with data in a doc, which includes formatting text with numbers, inserting images, and basically everything. In the first row, I'm entering the working days of the week. Then in the first column, I enter names of employees. And then their presumptive number of working hours per day. That's how I create a simple table to track working hours for demonstration. And all common tools for working with text are fully applicable to the data in the table. And first, I want to center the data like we normally do in tables. For that, I will just click on the cell, go to the toolbar and press Center Align with no need to highlight the part of the text. Although, for text formatting, you still need to highlight the word or phrase. And since it's a table, we can format data in multiple cells at once. For that, I click hold on the cell that I want to start from and drag the mouse cursor to the last cell of the range that I want to modify. Though it doesn't matter where you start from, you can go from this side or from the bottom and choose another range of cells. Now, let's center the highlighted data by pressing the Center Align button. There we go. And let's make it bold. And italic. And change the font. Well, you got it. Now concerning the table-specific features. When you press on any cell in the table, the new tools appear here on the toolbar on the right, which are the cell background color, cell border color, its border width and border dash. But keep in mind that these settings are applied to the selected cells only. So you either select some single one or the range of cells to modify. Now we format the table and explore its possibilities. At some point, you will realize you need more rows or columns. In my case, to add a new employee. So we select the cell in a row, next to which we need to insert a new row, up or down. Right mouse click on it to call up a context menu where we locate and set row above or below. Pressing either of them and we got a new row, where I will enter the new employee's name. The same applies to columns. Select the cell in a column next to which you want to insert one more column left or right to it. Right mouse click and in the context menu we select insert column left or right. There we go. 
and it works backwards, meaning deleting them. Where you select the cell in a column or row, right mouse click, and then in a menu, locate and click either delete column or delete row. And you can change the dimensions of each row and column. For that, you will need to place the mouse cursor on the border of the row or the column that you want to increase or decrease. You see the pointer turns into such a symbol with lines and arrows, meaning if you press on it on that moment, you will be able to adjust its position and size. You can move the borders of rows up or down and left or right for the columns. And one more thing concerning the table size adjustment. You can click on any cell of the table, call up a context menu, and click either Distribute Rows or Distribute Columns, which will make all cells in the row or the column align evenly in accordance with the overall height and width of the table. And that's incredibly handy since it aligns them perfectly. And it doesn't end here. There's a really nice table controls menu containing all aforementioned settings in a single place. But with even more controls and fine-tuning, let's get to it. And keep in mind that most of the settings in a table properties menu are applied to the selected cells only. So you need to select the range of cells to modify or click on some single one. I will highlight the entire table. Right mouse click on any cell. In the menu will locate table properties in the bottom and press it. Let's apply some edits in the menu. Let's make the table borders disappear by pressing on a color here and selecting white color. Then we will increase their width by pressing this button and selecting tree in the drop down. After that, we will change the background color of the cells by pressing this button. And on the palette, just choose the one you like from the standard ones or create a custom one. I will select this creamy one here. Then we can align the data in cells vertically. Then we change the dimensions of the cells by entering numbers, unlike we did it earlier with just a mouse. We'll click the checkboxes and do one. And one. And what is the table alignment? Up next, this is a relatively new feature, allowing us to easily shift entire rows and columns at once. For the columns, drag the mouse cursor to any cell on top, to its upper part until you see such a bar appears. And then press hold on its left side. Now you're able to move the whole column with all its contents left and right and place it at the start of the table or next to any other column in the table. The same applies to rows, but their controls are on the left to each row. So just drag the mouse pointer to the first cell of the row that you want to move. It will make this bar appear on the left. And if you click hold on its leftmost icon with these dots, you will be able to shift the entire row up and down. And following the new features subject, Google added an incredibly useful feature, allowing us to sort the table by its contents in ascending and descending order. I know many anticipated it, and it's finally here. Execute it with right mouse click on the cell to call up the menu, and down to sort table in ascending and descending order. And let's finish it by just deleting the table. Right mouse click on any cell and delete table line in the menu. There we go. 
hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on the goodapps.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.